most people never actually see a bat up close. What we have in Colorado are, are the micro bats, and they're, they're actually pretty small little animals, but they're amazing. And then we're also doing a lot more bat work to try to identify what our baseline populations are, what bats we have in what areas, how many bats we're seeing in those areas. All of that is in preparation for if white nose does show up in the state. We're also doing some outreach to uh, one of the climbing groups to get uh, bat reports from them when they're up on the rock faces. Climbers often encounter bats more frequently sometimes than bat biologists do just through their climbing rounds. Uh, in cracks where they climb, in crevices where they're uh, ascending, is they'll stumble upon bats. It's a great way of getting them empowered as bat conservation specialists themselves. Uh, the arm and the foot is that this thin membrane. What is commonly described as a spooky, scary animal on the landscape is these, these small creatures uh, are actually uh, relatively docile, even adorable. They're very small, 6 grams to 10 grams. These animals fit in the palm of your hand, and most often they're much more afraid of us than we, than we, are, we should ever be of them.